fire is such an important thing for so many aspects of outdoor living, whether it's sterilization, whether it's cooking, whether it's building, construction, um, melting wax, sealing, waterproofing. There's so many things that it's really nice to be comfortable with a variety of fire making methods. This is a Fresnel lens, but um, so on one hand it's not that primitive, but yet it doesn't take gasoline, it doesn't take fuel, and this is pretty tough, you know, it's plastic. Uh, you can find things that are equivalent to this in certain glasses, uh, flashlights, even overhead projectors at a school, or uh, some headlamps. And then you just use a natural fiber to make your char cloth because it can be real difficult to get your flame straight from your tinder. Uh, it'll work. You can see there it's smoking up already. But turning that into an actual flame can be a little bit of a challenge. Whereas when you hit when you hit this char cloth, all you got to do is just hit the corner of it. And once that char cloth gets to go, let's get in some good sun here. Once you get that char cloth lit, the char cloth won't go out. So now the char cloth is lit and the coal is spreading across the char cloth and it, it won't go out for a good minute on this nice big piece. So then you can take your char cloth, drop your char cloth into your tinder and just like you saw before, blow that into a flame. And so at this point I'm not going to blow it into a flame because I want to save my tinder, but you've seen it happen a couple times now. So So bright above in the cold water, that's the Fresnel lens where I can find glass trunk off with rocks and the trees. Nowhere I'll roam in the mountains of my home.